You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. Well, there's so much to tell. Why jump ahead? We had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Haim? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Huh. Nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Reliable at leading us into an ambush, you mean? Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there she is. Today you die, pretty one. Oh! What are you waiting for? Who the blaze is in the with it? Sloppy. You'd think the crows would be better at this. They've been doing it for ages. Interesting entrance. You have some fine moves. I do, don't I? My name is Talus. And I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the woman who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, that's what Edge was on about. Don't you remember? You said your mother received some letter from an Orlesian Duke. That would have been for Lord and Lady Amel. They'd expect nobility. That would be Duke Prosper de Montfort, member of the Orlesian aristocracy and a man who hosts a fine salon. Or so I hear. Let me guess, this isn't just a social call? I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. You want us to be thieves? Well, stealing from Orlesians is never wrong. Or so I've been told. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with less blood. I imagine if we did this, it'd be together, wouldn't it? That's the idea. Or did you have something else in mind? I just think we should get to know one another. I think I'd like that. So tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is. Just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. I don't like the sound of this hawk. You think it's a trap? Or you don't want to steal from a nobleman? I don't think we should be breaking laws for someone we just met. Should I stand farther away? Maybe plug my ears? 
Brothers. The jewel we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The heart is in a vault behind who knows what kind of traps. Protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers. All inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by monsters. And dressed as dear Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay a wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. Good luck to you all. I'm here by invitation. Would you tell your master that I've arrived? Ah, Mistress Hawk. Let them pass. They are here as my guests. Please excuse Kahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chastened? Here? Oh yes, you are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of his people. They traded in Lothering sometimes. My family never had a problem with them. See that, Kahir? Now you have someone to speak to. He's so very chatty, let me tell you. And who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. And the beauty doesn't stop there. Are all you ladies hunting? How marvelous. I must say, your presence is a surprise. The Amels were friends of my mother's, but we haven't seen your family at a hunt for ages. I was more interested in meeting the Duke de Montfort in person. Then I am a lucky man indeed. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? It will be an interesting diversion, I'm sure. Good luck to you, my lady. Remember, fortune favors the bold. You have come a long way to join our Duke, sirrah. You'll pardon me for saying that you do not seem like a hunter. A word of caution, since you are new to this. Wyvern spit venom. Their victims suffer terrible pain before they die. I have no doubt this will be a challenge, but I'm sure it's a worthy one. May Andraste keep you safe. If you fail to avoid the venom completely, there are treatments. A distillation of herbs, equal parts, Drake Vein, Andraste's mantle, and Winterberry can counteract the poison. May the Maker's luck grace your hunt. Be safe, Syrah. Have you seen a pair of coursers? I've been calling and calling, but it is no use. Nicodemus should know better. But Sylvain never had an ounce of sense in his head. A slow down and tell me what happened. My hands have disappeared. They took off after a stag. And the Maker only knows where they've gotten to now. Please, you must help me find them. If I see your dogs, I'll let you know. May Andraste guide you. Nicodemus! Blood of Andraste. Wyvern poison, I'm almost certain. Poor thing. We'll have to leave him here. We could tell his owner where he is. I don't know that it'll help much, though. You, do you have any news? I ran across a couple of dogs in the woods, but one of them was poisoned. I don't think he's going to make it. Thanks for telling me. I'll go see what I can do. Watch out. And 
looking for clues. Oh, for Andraste's sake. You didn't do that on purpose, did you? Ooh, nug bones. I wonder if a nug call would help attract a wyvern. You know a nug call? You go elbow deep in wyvern shit, and I'm the weird one? Well, the trail suggests wyverns just love this place to bits. If we were going to find one, it'd be... Yes, I think this would be the place to find a wyvern. And room enough to kill the thing without getting sat on. They're not stupid, though. We'll need some really good bait. I'm not here to impress anyone. Let's bring in something manageable. Hmm. What? Nothing. All right, let's see what we have. Plop that down for starters. Right, now the blood. What? The prey needs to be moving, doesn't it? Well, here I go. Just be ready. There it is. And it looks bad. These things spit poison. the Ferelden turnip. I don't know how you came to rub shoulders with your betters, but enough is quite enough. I suggest you run along with your servants while you have the chance. This wyvern was mine to kill, not yours. Mine! 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 I paid good coin to be the one who wins this contest. It was my turn! I'm certain we can come to an arrangement, if you like. You keep your mouth shut like a good dog, and you get to keep your tongue. That's the arrangement. You do realize this woman has nasty little thugs like you for breakfast, I hope. More insolent! From a knife ear this time! I can't take no more of this! Kill them all! We can't say the weaver was too much for them! Now, what is going on here? Prosper! This blasted she bitch tried to steal my rightful kill! Now, is that any way to speak of our Theraldon guest, Baron? This is your fault for inviting a stinking turnip in the first place! Your mother would be ashamed! <laughs> Says the man whose mother has slept with half of Valchevin. My apologies. Arlange has always been a cheat. What would you have done with him? You're not suggesting... Why not? You believe Arlange would have stopped short of murder, given the chance? I've no interest in more bloodshed. You hear that, Arlange? It behooves you to leave while you still can. I... Fine. I will go. Congratulations on finding the Wyvern. It looks like a fine one indeed. There will be a celebration in the Chateau Courtyard. Do attend when you're ready. You let him go? That was... very merciful. We only slaughter 90% of the things we meet. We should go to the Chateau. Time to practice your table conversation. Right. Done with the wyverns. And various nonsense. Back to the Chateau. We're here for a reason. Let's take care of it. I'm with you. I had a quick look around. There's one door into the castle that isn't under heavy guard. And? I can't get it open. And believe me, I tried. Bent a nice set of lockpicks in that stupid door. One of the Duke's guardsmen must have the key. They wouldn't just lock themselves out of the castle. I hope. 
I don't think we want to go digging through a guard's pockets in front of the Duke's guests. I agree. We need to handle this quietly. If you're set on this, we need to split up. Any competent guard will be suspicious of a big group. Talus and I will look for the key. In the meantime, scout out the castle for another way in. Let's see what we can find out. Come on. Your Grace, this is the event of the season. <laughs> you have truly outdone yourself this time, Prosper. Ah, at last our mighty heroine. Lady Hawk of Kirkwall has slain the first Wyvern. The honors of the day go to her. To hunt the Wyvern on its own ground is to tempt fate. A terrible risk. But the prize... I present to you this belt crafted of fine Wyvern skin. Wear it well and accept the accolades your due. Thank you, Duke Prosper. I'm proud to be here. Your humility, my dear Hawk, does you great credit. Do not mind, Leopold. My pet is always so temperamental before dinner. Leopold, is it? I didn't know Wyverns could be tamed. Tame? <laughs> is perhaps too strong a word. My friends, I officially welcome you all to Chateau Hain. Enjoy a taste of Orlesian hospitality. Sir Rahawk, I didn't think you were going to attend. Honestly, I didn't plan on it either, but here I am. I'm glad you came. Otherwise, I'd be talking to the Delonces. All the soap in Thedas couldn't make me clean after that. What do you think of the party so far? I've never seen anything like it. So polite. That's certainly one way to put it. We should probably go mingle a bit more. Of course. We'll speak later, Lady Elegant. The hunt was exciting, wasn't it? I didn't have the pleasure of seeing much, but I heard it was quite the event. You sound Ferelden. It's good to see another countryman here. There's Perrin, but he's... peculiar. Who is this one, Tigan? I'm very sorry, but I didn't get your name. Hawk. Tigan, I must speak with you right now about the horrible thing Dulce de Lance said. I... Of course. Please, excuse me, Monsieur Hawk. A pleasure to meet you. If you speak to Ban Perrin, I don't advise you to bring up the Chantry or Knickers. Why are they letting... Aren't you Leandra Amel's daughter? I heard you were living with your uncle. How is your dear mother? I'm sure she'll be glad you asked after her health. I'm sure she will. We're running out of monster mark. Can I help you? I just tried one of the canapes and it was raw in the middle. Someone must alert the kitchen. I don't wish to speak ill of anyone, but they were also over-seasoned. I pray no one else has tasted one, or the scandal. Nutmeg. It ruins even the best cook. There's no need for such drama. Come with me. I will see what I can do. Leave them to me. A few moments alone, and I can get us the key to the chateau. <laughs> My, what a big sword you have. Do they give those to all the chevaliers? So impressive. Lovely party. Well, he doesn't have it. What? He forgot he'd given the key to one of the servants. What kind of guard forgets that he's locked himself out of the castle? Don't worry, Talus. We'll find this servant. Right. Nothing to worry about. This can still work. So, let's find the servant. How many could there be? It's not. It's a... 
Welcome. Are you enjoying the Duke's party? This is supposed to be the social event of the whole year, you know. I... Talis? Leliana, it's so lovely to see you again. You look stunning this evening. Your hair is darling. Did you do it yourself? I get the distinct impression you've met before. Oh, briefly. A long time ago. You meet all sorts of people in Orle. It keeps life exciting. I get the feeling there's some trouble here. No, no trouble at all. Everything is fine, Hawk. Why would you think otherwise? We shouldn't take up more of your time, Liliana. I'm sure you have things that need attention right now. Your hair up. Have we met, Sarah? You look familiar. Seneschal, dear, introduce me to your delicious friend. I'm afraid we haven't been introduced. My name is Hawk. My mother was the Amel family's oldest daughter. Of course. I heard that Lord Amel's errant daughter returned to Kirkwall with her children recently. So you're new in town. Why don't you come to the Rose sometime? And I'll show you around. Awkward. So, can we talk about something else now? It's been delightful meeting both of you. Don't be a stranger. Pardon me, Sir Guard, but could we have a moment of your time? Anything for the Duke's honored guests. I simply must meet the person responsible for those azaleas. They are the finest shrubberies I've ever beheld. We are the most avid members of the Kirkwall Horticultural Society. I never thought I would live to see the day that anything would surpass the Viscount's juniper. This may be the greatest day of our lives. You must introduce us. I can see this is a matter of utmost importance, but I'm afraid I do not have the power to help you. Can I interest you in some Antivan olives? Or I have some smoked am from the Andrefels. They say it tastes of despair. Wait, does it really? How can ham taste like despair? Why would anyone eat it if it did? That's what the importer said. They all talk like that. This wine has notes of oak and springtime. This cheese tastes of sorrow. Thank you, miss. None for me at the moment. Nobody has wanted anything. Olive duty is the worst job. I must have offended the cook. I don't suppose we could have a peek at the kitchens. I'd love to see this hopeless dish in all its glory. I don't know. I, I shouldn't leave my post. I promise we won't tell a soul. Just a quick look. I suppose I could get you a very quick look. The upstairs maids will be so jealous when they find out. Very well. Follow me. I know, right? They treat you like part of the furniture. I'm surprised they don't sit on it. Avoid the cheese plate. Terrible. Have you got the key? I'm usually better at this. She didn't have the key either. Uh, this isn't supposed to be so complicated. Don't beat yourself up about this, Talis. We'll find a way in. I hope so. The servant says she gave it to the Duke's son, Lord Cyril. Let's find him and hope he didn't pass it on to his father. So, Lord Cyril. I don't believe we have been introduced. Lady Amel, is it not? It's Hawk, actually. Oh, well, of course. I beg your pardon, Lady Hawk. You sound Ferelden. I thought you were a marcher. Please, take this caprice as a token of my sincere apology. It's our legion custom. Cast it into the fountain here, and uh, you might get a wish. Where are your knickers this time, Perrin? <laughs> Shut up, you painted shrew! 
What entertaining manners our guests have. <laughs> Don't you agree, Hawk? My friend here has been dying to speak with you privately. She's talked of nothing else. Uh, for you, Hawk, of course. No, I don't have the cheap trait. You're mistaking me for... I was hoping we could... Fine, I'll put that in the trash. That Wyvern blood has some kick, doesn't it? This is officially my worst night ever. Not Lord Cyril's type? Maybe he just doesn't like elves. Or... women. Well, you've got one of those factors covered. He has the key. Go get it. What? It's your turn, Hawk. Go on. I guess it wouldn't hurt for me to go talk to him. Please, please try. I think he likes you. So good luck with that. Thanks. Tell the elf that her pleas are for nothing. She's pretty enough, I suppose. No doubt there are some men who would like that sort of thing. I thought you might be a man of refined tastes. I have a great appreciation for beauty. I just was afraid with me to like in this. Why don't we talk again after the party? You have it! Tell me you have it. I have it. Good, then we can find the jewel and get this over with. And here I thought we were getting along so well. I can't imagine anyone I would rather attend an Orlesian party with, even if you are human. Let's find that door and get inside. How is your... What in the name? There's no need for you to die today, friend. Just move on. You never saw us. See? <laughs> You could have walked away. Is something wrong? I didn't want to kill him. I've seen you kill several men. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? Let's do it quietly. We shouldn't get into fights if we don't have to. I'm glad you agree. Let's go. This part of the chateau will be crawling with guards. We'll have to try our best to keep out of sight. Or we could try to create distractions, provided you're good at throwing stones. And if all else fails, we'll give them a sharp knock on the head. Right, of course. Just try not to do it all the time. All right, I'm ready when you are. Be quick, but careful. Can't speak now. I have too much to do preparing the banquet and Leopold's dinner. You don't want to see a wyvern go hungry? If you need something, ask one of the servants. Well? Why are you still bothering me? There's a problem in the courtyard. Something about a poisoned comtesse. The servants were looking for you. A maker's breath? What have those useless elves done now? I suppose I'd better deal with this. These heartless slaves to fashion would wear your skin as a cravat if they could. Never forget that. Every one of you will be prepared for battle. Do not relax for an instant. It's never as easy as it seems, is it? I swear I didn't know. There must be some sort of switch. Something wrong? I don't know. 
Yes. Don't fret, my dear. Yes, this qualifies as wrong. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I thought we were here to steal a jewel. <laughs> then she didn't tell you. The elf is a Cunari. I assume Talis has her reasons. My, she chose you well, didn't she? Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here for the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. Asei hasatra mas. Mas havas trasukulun. Take them away. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. I have a question. When the Duke told you what I was, you said you didn't care. Was that true? You could have told me the truth. I might have listened. And what if you didn't? I suppose we'll never know. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the Heart of the Many. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Montfort family. And you're also Ferelden, with no reason to love or lay, and incredibly competent, so I hear. And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you, we go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing. Truth? You're not exactly what I was expecting. Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you, given you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. I assume you have some sort of plan. I always have a plan. A good one? Oh, ye of little faith. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? We didn't come here alone, remember? This can't be right. We could sneak back to the kitchens and ask the servants where they are. If we knew how to get there. I'm not getting turned around again. Straight ahead. Right, because that's been working so well thus far. <sighs> that's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. There you are. What happened? Let's get out of here. So, back through the castle then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. We found your equipment, at least. Then we should head for the caves. Done with my hospitality already, are we? Such a shame. All we want is to get out of here, Duke Prosper. Let us through. Is that all you want? I don't think it's all she wants. You've made your point. Don't make this worse than it needs to be. Odd. 
I was about to say the same thing to you. Just let her go, Prosper. It's me you want. What I want is to ensure you cannot further hinder my plans. Do your job and kill them, Chasin. Is that not why I keep you around? That is it! Hold them! I'm releasing the pets! Let's make this quick! Get back! I don't think we're getting out this way now. I never thought we could I'd try be bashing to be back at the Gamlins. Doubt it. We'll have to go back down and through the caves I mentioned before. Although I wonder why the Duke's bodyguard ran off like that. The Duke left him. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. That's odd. I could swear there was... Trust me. Talus! The Circle are not the only ones who know how to break the mage. You'll do Prosper's bidding after he left you here. I do not fight for him. The Duke is a fool. His enemies are posturing guileless lot. But you are worth testing. Prosper can fight his own battles. And I shall choose mine. But there's a lake in the middle of the mountain. The retreat needed to house hundreds of people during the blight, if not thousands. Can't do that without fresh water. All this, bucket by bucket. Oh, that. I have no idea. Get out! And there's the way out. See? I told you I had a plan. It was a good plan. The kind that had an escape and everything. I think you're right, Talus. So you could go. There are, however, other options. Coming on a bit strong there, Talus. We've only just met. But we've been through so much together. Wyvern hunts, betrayals, daring escapes from prison. <laughs> You're right. I'm feeling so close to you right now. <laughs> so, it's true what they say about you. You've been so reasonable since we were captured. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. What Salit is going to do will harm so many innocents. My people, as well as yours. It's my duty to stop him. Even so, I can't do it alone. Not anymore. I see your side. What now? That's up to you. I couldn't force you to help, even if I wanted to. I get the feeling you're an exceptional person, Hawk. Here's your chance to prove it. Thank you, Hawk. I... Thank you. So, this is the retreat. I knew you were a worthless traitor the moment I laid eyes on you. Baron Allange, you really want to do this again? You filthy turnip! You humiliated me! He was persistent. I'll give him that much. Atas Shokra Ban Hasroth Ebala Maras 
Bendar Salit Asit. Satarith Barak, Alat Kufir Abaz. Atasraval, Pana Hedan. Salit is already here. He's meeting with the Duke at the base of the mountain. Then we're going the wrong way. We need to get down there before it's too late. Let's get this over with, Canary. Before your assassins find us. Already I regret agreeing to spare them. I have chosen my path. That choice should not... Marshera! I am here to facilitate your deal with the Empress. Nothing more. Your Grace. It's a list of names. What is the meaning of this? You asked for a weapon. I am providing it. We expected the formula for black powder, dreadnought plans, a map of Cunandar, anything. This. This is useless. Your Grace. Ah. The Ferelden. You just keep turning up. There's no need for you to die here, Duke Prosper. You have a lot of cheek, you insolent little wench. Tell us. I said I would stop you, Salite. And I said I would slay you if you tried. If anyone is to do any slaying, it will be me. It's up to you how this ends. I can help you up, or you can fall. Well, I don't think you'll survive that. Atash Varin Kata. If the Duke only knew what he nearly had in his grasp. Thank you. There's no way I could have done this without your help. What is the scroll? This is a list of agents throughout Thetis. Kinari, like myself. Many of them have children, family, friends. They're people you wouldn't suspect. Some have even left a Kuhn behind. But if this list fell into human hands, they and everyone they know would be killed. 
The Arcune believes they knew the risks. But what about the innocents? I... I couldn't let this happen. That's what you do for a friend. A friend? Is that what I am? <laughs> That's up to you. I like the sound of that. Yes, I see. Thanks for that, sis. Oh, before I forget, that was going to be the heart of the many. You'd find a jewel while I'd go off and find Salit and be back before anyone was the wiser. I suppose nothing ever goes like we plan, does it? Take care of yourself, Hawk. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Let me guess. You haven't seen Talis since that day. A safe assumption, given her nature. And who is left to appease Orlay after a duke's murder at the hands of the champion of Kirkwall? Prosper invited it by dealing with Talvashoff, possibly under orders from Empress Selene. Imagine the scandal of that was known. <laughs> if you believe a Kunari agent. Well, that's the difficult part, isn't it? I don't know why Hawk helped Talus. I suppose she was pretty for a Kunari. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I doubt it's the last we've seen of her. But what do I know? I just tell stories. Damn. Uh. Yeah.